time for another Lightroom color grading video. This time we are going to apply some very dark silver color grading on this foggy landscape shot. This is super super easy to do so if you want to follow along this Lightroom tutorial you can find a link to download the raw file in the description of the video and now let's jump into it. Alright, so here we have our base image, you can see it's rather bright, it already has almost no colors, you can see there's a bit of green and orange going on in the foreground. Of course we could just restore some more natural colors by bringing up the temperature and here we would have a very natural shot with a bit more color in it. But that's not the goal of this video. So let's start by changing the profile to Adobe Standard. This will already lessen the contrast a bit, which is great for this foggy scene. Also, of course we need to adjust the white balance. I don't want to have natural colors. I want this image to have a very strong blue color cast. So let's bring down the temperature. That's already looking quite good. Now before heading into the color grading, of course we need to adjust the base exposure and giving it this very dark, creepy look I'm aiming for. For that reason, the first thing I want to do is to just drop the exposure, making everything a lot darker. At the same time, to still have a bit of light coming in the image, I'm going to bring up the highlights all the way and I can safely do that without overexposing anything. So that is looking awesome. For some more lights, we could also play around with the whites, but with this ladder you gotta be careful because this will lead to overexposure at some point. Still, I want to raise it quite a bit to get some contrast going on and some very heavy light just in the back of the image. That's looking really, really good. Now, next we could add a little bit of texture which will just sharpen the smaller details a bit. At the same time, I'm going to drop the clarity which makes the whole shot a little softer. And I'm also going to drop the dehaze to add some artificial fog. Let's not drop it too much, but I think that looks good. Besides increasing this fogginess of the image, dropping the dehaze will also make the shot brighter. So maybe we're going to add some more contrast later on in the editing. For now, the next thing I want to do is to bring down the vibrance, just to desaturate the image a bit and going more towards the silver look I'm aiming for. Just like that. So at this point it's not completely desaturated, we still have some blues going on, but we will enhance that later with a bit of split toning. For now, let's also do a bit of masking to enhance the light situation a bit more. So first off I am going to add a bit of glow using a radial gradient. And I want it to come down towards the ground from this bright spot up here. So making sure the center of the radial gradient is outside the image to get a natural looking effect. And with this radial gradient, let's bring up the blacks and drop the dehaze. Again, be careful with the dehaze lighter because we don't want to overexpose too much. So I'm keeping an eye on the histogram, but I think that's looking good. I could adjust the position a bit better, like bringing it a bit further up. Okay, right there in the foreground, I think this is just a bit too bright. I want to make it look a little creepier, so let's create a linear gradient, just covering most of the very near foreground right there. And in here, let's just drop the exposure. Again, keep an eye on the histogram, I don't want to underexpose too much. A little bit is okay though. I probably need to adjust the size a bit and let's rotate it some more. Okay, I think that looks good. Also, I'm going to bring down the whites and bringing down the whites will make this area darker without the risk of heavily underexposing the area. And finally, let's just raise the blacks very, very slightly to counter the burst underexposure and just kind of lessen the contrast right there in the foreground. Perfect. Then I do want to bring some more attention to the road leading out of the image. So for that I'm going to grab another radial gradient. Just create a small one like this and place it on top of the road. Here I am going to bring up the whites again. I think I need to adjust the size some more. 
All right, and I'm also going to increase the clarity. Perfect. I could adjust this radial gradient a bit further by subtracting with the brush and just getting rid of everything that's not the road. Let's see the overlay. All right, that looks good. And then finally, let's add one more radial gradient for the top part. This time a rather small one, it's like that. And with this one, I just want to enhance the glow some more by bringing up the blacks and maybe even add some whites. All right, perfect. Now let's compare the image to before. You can see the colors are much, much more desaturated. We do already have this very cool silver look, which works great with the fogginess. Also, the whole image is a lot darker with way more contrast, which makes the scene so much more interesting. For the next step, let's do the color grading. I am going to go straight into the split toning. Here, I just want to work on the shadows and the midtones. So let's start with the shadows. And of course, since we are having a rather cold image already, I'm going to apply a cold color tone to the shadows. So I think that's looking like a good blue tone right there. I'm going to raise the saturation very, very slightly. I just want to have a very subtle amount of blue in the shadows. And I'm doing basically the same thing for the midtones. So again, go with the blue color tone and raise the saturation very, very slightly. Just like that. All right, and that is pretty much it for the color grading. As you can see, that was super, super easy, but it changed the whole image quite dramatically. Now, if you want, we can enhance the contrast some more going into the tone curve. We can bring down parts of the shadows maybe, while at the same time raising the highlights. And thus, we're just creating a simple S-curve. and Maybe even raise the points for the blacks a little bit and to just smoothen out this curve right here. I'm going to create another point and just drag it further down. Let's see if we improve the image by adding this curve. I think so. Maybe I'm going to raise this point just a bit. All right. Now the final thing that we can do is the sharpening in the details tab. And I'm always following the same settings. I'm dropping the radius all the way down. I'm increasing the details all the way up. I'm going to apply some masking by holding down the Alt key so I can see where the masking is applied. And then I'm just going to sharpen the image. All right, that looks awesome. At this point, there are a few objects which I want to remove. I'm going to do that in Photoshop, but I think I don't want to include that in the video because that's rather boring. So I hope this Lightroom color grading tutorial was helpful and interesting. As always, if you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.